our day of experimentation with our friends from Imagination Station. And Sarah Gulch is here this morning joining us with another fun and exciting experiment. Sarah, take it away. Yeah, so um, we're going to do some dinner table science this morning. And I'm going to give you a chance to win some money. Okay. So. Must I have good manners for this? Uh, we'll see. Debatable. Maybe Maybe good science. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to, Give you 11 cents. All right. And, you know, we're at 11 today. I get that. <laughs> um, but what I want you to do is see if you can pick up that money without getting your fingers wet. So I'm going to put some water in there. Okay. All right. What do you think? Uh, with just my hands, I don't think I can accomplish this. Okay. You might be right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to light these candles. Um, and this, is, like I said, is kind of fun dinner table science. Um, I'm actually going to get my fingers wet because I'm not trying to win the money. Okay. Um, so we've got our candles burning. And I want you to take this wine glass. There you go. Okay. And you're going to gently lower it down over the top of those candles. Okay. And you just put it right on the plate. All right. Ooh. Now, if you look closely, what's happening is that water got pulled up into our wine glass, and look, your your money is free. I can <laughs> see that, and I would able be able to now successfully take yes. the money off the plate. So you're 11 cents richer now. Can you explain the science behind of course. this, please? <laughs> um, so I'm going to let you do it with me. So what we had happening here is kind of a classic experiment. Um, that usually has some misconceived science. Okay. So we're going to kind of walk through what's actually happening. So try to find things that people might have at home. So we've got a highlighter, a cap, and we put some birthday candles in there. All right. And we're going to fill this pie pan also with some water. And I did put a little bit of detergent in here um, because what we're going to do is actually heat up the air molecules that are inside that container, mm -hmm. which is what you did with your wine sure. glass. So I've got those burning. I'm going to give you this container now. Okay. All right. And what you're going to do. Same thing over the top all the way down? Yep. Okay. So make sure you go steady because you don't want to knock over our highlighter. So you're warming those air molecules. And then as you bring your container all the way down, what's going to happen is eventually we're going to see that water start to rise. Now, our candles have extinguished. They have. And that means that the molecules inside are going to start rapidly decreasing in temperature. Okay. So we're going to create a low pressure atmosphere. Okay. But we still have our atmospheric pressure, our 14.7 pounds, pounds per, square. per square inch. Yeah. So and now, just correct me. So you said there's some misconceptions about this. So this is more about temperature, not necessarily the uh, maybe the exhaustion of oxy oxygen. Yes. Or does it have to do with that? Um, that's actually what people kind of confuse. It as they think because that we've used up. That's what I would have thought yeah. immediately. Okay. Yeah, they think that we used up all that oxygen, um, but really we're dropping the oxygen level from about 21% to maybe like 17%. Okay. Um, so really it is the temperature of those molecules and the air pressure. Okay. So we're going to try it again. So we'll put some water in here. I love that you give me a couple of cracks at this. Too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to do the same thing again. You're going to lower it down. Go for it. And then you want to do it, yep, now go all the way straight down to the bottom of the pan. And then, so we are heating the, so see, we see the bubbles. Uh -huh. It's because that pressure is forcing some air, the expansion yeah. of the molecules. And now we can see that our flame has extinguished and we're actually drawing that water in because we have higher pressure out here, uh -huh. lower pressure inside because it's cooling down now. So atmospheric pressure is actually forcing the water into our container. Any difference in the shape of these? Nope. Okay. Um, so it's kind of something fun. You can try out different glassware that you might have at home. We used a wine glass, and look, our plate over there is actually completely dry now. Pretty much sucked the plate dry. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's a really fun experiment. Um, definitely one you can do at home and get the kids involved. So that's what we like. I was out at the Imagination Station last week, and I saw the paper towel yeah. challenge. That was a success. What's definitely. new coming up with you guys now? Actually, next week we are starting Little Scientist Week, and that will open on Tuesday and run through the end of the week, and we'll be doing all kinds of egg stream science with our littlest scientists who are ages five and under. So we've got some really good things targeted to them and what they can do. All right, Sarah, you said it best. Very cool. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Stay with us. We will have more WT11 your day when we come back.